Besties, do you have a second? Hey, friend. Hey, the best squad. Okay, this is my second time trying to do this. Okay, so guys, um, I just saw a clip where Martel was getting upset. He went live for Father's Day yesterday trying to let the people know that I'm a great father. I show up for all my kids, all five of them, you know, and I even cook for my mother. Did anybody reach out to Martel and um, ask him to come online and tell us what he's doing for Father's Day and how Ralph was going to have a pool party, but blah, blah, blah. Like, we don't care. So, y'all, he went on live and was ranting about absolutely nothing, talking to the females in his comment section because he says it's 19%. <laughs> Negro is probably 90, you're trying to say. 19% of his fans are female, so you know. And the man went on into a rant. Like, what's wrong with people? We don't care, because if you were such a good father, you wouldn't have messed up your home, right? If you were such a good father, their mom wouldn't want to get full custody because you're a terrible dad. Yeah, she agreed that you were a good dad when y'all was together. You did what you were supposed to do. But because the marriage is over, you literally was trying to harm your children. You literally have your stepkids attacking them. You literally uh, treated Tank differently at the Cheese House factory when you were there with Dusty Dan, taking picture as if y'all was a family. Huh? And now you want to tell the world, oh, you're a good dad? Go look up the definition of a good dad. And since you're getting so mad over the term, boy bye Martel. <laughs> Bye bye. Let me just play this clip for y'all. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. Oh, wait, guys, do y'all think that in the rant that he went, he was talking about um, parents or mothers, you know, don't hold your kids from their dad, don't make it difficult for them. And somebody in the comment section said, Martel, don't start. And he was like, I'm not going to. And because he had ended it by saying, I'm not saying anything else. Like, who do you think he was throwing shots at? Boy, go get your life together, cause I nobody cares. Here. Did y'all, ladies? Cause uh, again, it's probably about ninety-eight percent ladies on here. You guys celebrate your the fa your fathers, the fathers in your life. So hot, I'm sweating. Woo! It's like it said, one hundred and two degrees, but I don't think it's that hot. Yeah, thank you. Miss Monica, I'll be blessed. You be blessed too, and I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm about to get on this road, turn this music up, probably take my shirt off and just relax and let's go with it. My father passed, but celebrated man. Yeah, my heart goes out to you. If you lost your, your father, a father figure or parent, you know, it's tough. It really is tough. Um, so we got to cherish people while we while they're here. We have to give people their flowers while they're here. Yeah, make them feel special. You know, um, I cooked breakfast for my mom the other morning. She was surprised, and I told myself before I cooked it, I said, you know what? Let me. I don't think I cooked for my mom in years. Let me let me do that. So I made her breakfast, and I felt that was a good gesture. And now she's at at my house cooking dinner for. For me with my children and telling me to hurry up but i just got a burger i told us i gotta get me something to eat mama this bald head i'm telling you Woo. yeah martel keep being a great father yeah so that, that's one thing about it you know through the through your relationships you know if you're married you you got a boyfriend girlfriend all that can change but one thing that will be forever is being a parent, being a mom, being a father, that can't be taken away from you. So you need to be the best parent that you can be, whether it's a grandmother, grandfather, father, mother, whatever. That cannot be taken away from us. So I've been a great father since day one. I'm going to continue to be a great father. And I encourage all you men out there, regardless of what you're going through, become or continue to be the best father period yep do that no matter what 
no matter how hard it is, no matter who's making it difficult or how difficult they're making it for you to be the father that you want to be, continue to push forward and try to overcome it. Because I'm telling you, being a father for me is so it's, it's special. It really is special being a father. Um, since day one, you know, I love being a father. You know, I planned it. All, I planned it all out. I planned it all out. And I and I love it. I love like today. You know, um, I was supposed to win and kicked it. Me and the kids we were going to kick it with my boy Ralph in, in Atlanta because he's having he's having a thing right now over this house, like a little pool party for the fathers, the kids and stuff coming over. Um, but, you know, Mariah, I signed up for this tennis this tennis um, camp. So I got my belt on this road and this is it. I'm about to, to leave it here for a few days. Yep. But all right, well, you guys on I'm this Father's Day, all y'all who, who's negative, go get a life. Yep, I'm not playing. Go get a life. Y'all, y'all, the ones that want to be negative, talking about some boy by, I'm a grown man over here. There ain't no boy by. Today, Father's Day, I, I, I'm a father every day. <laughs> Don't play with me. Don't come on my, my, on my live telling me boy by. No, you by. Don't play with me. I'm a whole grown man over here. Handle my business. I got five damn children. I take care of all of them. All of them. Tell me, boy, bye. You better be telling me Happy Father's Day or great job or something like that. You better get your eyes off this, um, off the social media so much and off that TV screen and know what's real and what's not. Cause don't, don't, don't be playing with me. Cause I'm here for it. Like All that says the man who tried to put RP out by using his mistress to do his dirty work who attack his ex-wife every chance he gets. Negro, bye. <laughs> you not out here trying to give no advice. To who? Nobody wants it. Don't come out here trying to be this moral. Why everybody who does dirt try to come out here acting as if they're, they have this old moral uh, compass about them? Like, oh, they're this who? No, Martel. No, Martel, you were convicted of a crime, okay? The one, the same crime that Carlos is babying you about. So get out of here with your, oh, you know, push through, guys. If they're trying to, I know you ain't trying to use Mel push through. Push through where? Push through and do better. Because what you already put out here for your kids to see, it's a wrap once they reach 13, 14, 15. The audacity. So, wait a minute. So, you didn't spend Father's Day with your daddy? Uh, he in jail. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Um, you didn't have coleslaw who said she cooked daily every day? Oh, I see. Y'all can't ask Mel for no more food. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but these two clowns always want to come on the internet talking about acting like they together, acting as if they the new black couple, right? You outside trying to get a burger, right? Why aren't you spending even Father's Day with your dad? Martel, Martel, bye. <laughs> bye. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Talk to y'all later. All right, bye.